since we had the scrimmage on Saturday, I was hoping for an exciting press conference that answered some questions for us. I didn't expect any answers on quarterback. I was right. I did expect answers on a few other things. I was wrong. We really didn't even get questions. The uh, press, either they were told that they weren't going to get certain answers, so don't ask the questions, <coughs> or they just, as a group, did not drink their coffee before they got there. It wasn't even a question about whether any of the roster spots had been answered or changed. So, I was a bit disappointed, but I do think, having thought about it a bit, we can glean a, a bit here and there from what Coach Brown said. Uh, he did say that this coming week is going to be the toughest week. It will have the most hitting, the most work, and it's going to tell the most about the team so far. And that will end with another scrimmage this coming Saturday. Started with the defense, and first thing he talked about was the defense did well lining up. Now this is a good thing. And given that we had significant problems last year, it's a very good thing. And it's something that we should expect him to talk about because it has been a problem and we want to know if it's been fixed. Well, it's been fixed. Now, of course, on the boards, you have the group of people who immediately started making fun of this and talking about how basic this is and it's really sad that you have to mention a point like this. These are almost certainly the same people who complained the most and the loudest when the team had problems lining up last year. They are going to complain. I've been calling them the negateers and unfortunately it seems to be too accurate a name. But, despite the complexities of the college game at the Power 5 level, despite the complexities of offensive lineups and the speed which, which they sometimes move, all of which can complicate a defense getting set, they are doing well. It's good news. Accept it for that. All right. <laughs> uh, the defensive line will be mostly by committee. Uh, I don't know if that will hold because it's based on the idea that we don't have any stars. And I'm not convinced. I think we have more stars in the making than we've had in the last few years. And hopefully at least to have two guys on there at the same time so that the offense can't concentrate on one. But current plan is to do a lot of rotation. So it could be anywhere from 9 to 11 guys rotating in. Uh, sometimes every 3 to 5 plays. Linebacker, still a work in progress and I su suspect he mostly means Will. But he did say that Trey Lathan had the best day of pretty much anybody out there today and had a good day in Saturday scrimmage. Doesn't mean he's in the lead for the role, but he's definitely competing. Just not decided yet. Uh, but Lathan is one of those guys that played mostly offense in high school. He came to the linebacking position late, <coughs> later. So he needs... Repetition, repetition, repetition. And he does, you know, <laughs> he says we got to get him ready fast. As he spent part of the weekend 
watching Penn State film. So, he has refocused and is like, okay, here's what we have to be ready for. Of course, he knew it already, but <laughs> um, also specified that Burks, Wilson Lamp, Bishop, and Anthony Wilson all had good days on Saturdays. Uh, specified Burks has had a really good camp overall, which that's another, you know, these are guys that we have been hearing about. So, <laughs> I, I like it when guys are consistently getting good reviews. Uh, with the scrimmage, offensively, they focused on the running. Didn't do a lot of passing. Quarterbacks, it's what you're waiting for mostly. Again, didn't tell us a lot. Did say Mark Yule had some decision-making problems early. Had a really good uh, two-minute drill drive late. Green was solid. Had some good runs. Solid decision-making. Does that sound familiar? Have we heard anything but that since spring? Certainly not since the beginning of fall camp. So I think we can pretty well say where the quarterback battle stands. Still comes down to Mark Yule making better decisions faster. Um, running backs, Jalen Anderson had a really good day. White has been getting better away from the ball. Blocking, route running, and this is very good news. We know he can run, but it's always a matter of learning pass protection. That's one of the hardest things for most freshman running back. How much he plays is going to depend a lot on that question because we can't just put him in there and hand him the ball every time. We don't want to say, hey, you know what's coming. So, he has to be able to pass block. And maybe, now picture this. Jaheim White, lead blocking for C.J. Donaldson. I like it. <laughs> and funny thing is, I think White would get a kick out of it as well. Uh, Justin Johnson has been the most consistent through camp. And that is his history. Um... <laughs> It's why he and Anderson are still fighting for the number two spot. Anderson has the history of the bigger runs. Johnson has the history of being more consistent. Still think he can break some of those runs. I want to see that. But I have to wait and see how it happens. Some people think White is going to be the number three back, and that could be true. Whether or not it's true is going to descend on depend on pass blocking. Uh, they took it easy on C.J. Donaldson, so no word on him. Receivers, Trail and Ray stood out, and this is again something we're hearing consistently. That's especially significant since Ray didn't come to camp until pretty close to the end, you know end of the summer. Um. It looks more and more like Traylon Ray will play and possibly play significant time up this upcoming season. Also mentioned Fox and Clement. Um, sometimes, I, you know, I don't know if it's because they're doing well or he <clears throat> knows fans want to hear about the local guys. No word on any of the guys considered to be the starting or top receivers. But, <laughs> nobody asked either. All right. Uh, starter, offensive line, he really didn't mention the starters other than to say Yates and Hubbard are still battling for the left guard spot. Instead, talked about backups. And I'm just, I'm happy that he didn't have much to say about the offensive line. <clears throat> 
The old saying is that if you hear about the offensive line, it's usually bad news. Uh, Johnny Williams doing well. Says he would like to redshirt him. But there is this sense, the way he said it, would like to redshirt, might not be able to. He may be too good to let him sit. We'll see how that plays out. Um, also mentioned that with uh, Weedman and, uh, <laughs> hey, oh shoot, didn't write the name down. But basically, redshirt freshmen, Hamilton and Weedman, need to take the next step. It's not, he's, you know, say we're putting pressure on them, but it's pressure to improve. It's not that they need to start. But they need to be where Rimac was last year. They need to be able to give quality time and step in when needed. Uh, Landon Livingston at center, he said, proud of him. Don't, you, don't hear coaches use that particular word very often. I found it interesting. But he did say he's not ready. He's getting ready. So more than likely, Yates would still be the backup center if anything were to happen, but we've got guys coming along. Uh, really no well, no news on the injury front, and that does come up as no news is good news. Redwood ahead of schedule, uh, not necessarily ready for Penn State, and they have no intention of playing him until he is absolutely ready, but he's coming along well. Uh, Sean Martin has had a bit of an injury problem, but nothing they consider serious, and he does not expect it to affect playing time. Uh, Malinger, it's just, it's strength. said so the knee itself is stronger, but getting that leg up to full strength takes some time. But, dang, the way they were talking in spring and, you know, if it got mentioned at all in summer, I was beginning to worry if Malinger was going to play this year. But from the sound of things, he's going to play. Uh, briefly mentioned combined practices again. I think somebody, you know, was one of the questions they brought up. Not one of the important issues, but they brought it up anyway. Uh, and you see, it's not likely to happen anytime soon. Largely because we've got more important things to talk about. We've got to settle NIL and Portal. We've got to get recruiting schedules worked out. So, he liked it. Uh, basically just said it has to be with a coach you trust. <laughs> Somebody who's not going to give away any of the secrets you reveal. And a team that practices the right way. Or essentially with the same intensity and precision that you are trying for. Well, and this coming week, he said, is when things start getting settled. Hardest week, it's the week to settle. Because after Saturday's scrimmage, things shift into game prep. And game prep you're prepping the guys who are going to play. So whatever they're going to show, they got to show it this week. Then they'll show us a few weeks later. I'm looking forward to it. You know that. You've heard it before. I think it's going to be a good game against Penn State, and I think it's going to be a good season. I may even be right, and I will see you as soon as I have something to say, and hopefully something worth saying. So long.